is this weird idea that something can't be tyrannical if it comes through the operation of a free market? And my response to that would be, number one, is, you know, aren't you glad uh, this was done through the free market? And the person holding the gun is Google. I believe that this guy is talking about that meme where there's two astronauts and it's usually like there's one in front of the other. The other is holding a gun and says like always was or something like that. Unwind at night in this mimetic pattern. Thing is itself a kind of untwisting of the daily task. People get wound up during the day and are deeply involved in some role, and then they unwind at night in this mimetic pattern. Instant circuitry and involvement, and its uh, boundaries are not national at all. Right, th th there is this weird idea that something can't be tyrannical if it comes through the operation of a free market, and my response to that would be number one. Uh, the free market is not nearly as free as people suppose that it is, right? It's all influenced by various regulations. It's all influenced by, you know, sort of privileges that were granted, liability protections that were granted. These things matter, and they frankly make the market a lot less free than people assume that it was. And even if it was a perfectly free market, I want people to live good lives in our country, right? I want people, we have sort of differences of view about how to maybe get there, but I want workers to have a good wage if they do an honest day's work. I want you to participate in American democracy, to participate in the public debate. All of these things really matter. And I don't really care if the entity that is most threatening to that vision is a private entity or a public entity. We have to be worried about it in either case. Uh, when I made my observation that we should maybe break up Google, you know, one, one of the responses that I get, I'm sure I got it a million times, but uh, Elon's algo pushed this particular response into my notification for whatever reasons. And it, 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 it was... It was, well, you, know, you have to be careful about this because I'm sure that when the left gets control, it's like, okay, well, uh, Elon's algo pushed this particular response into my notification for whatever reasons. And it, 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 it was, it was well, you know, you have to be careful about this because I'm sure that when the left gets control, it's like, okay, well, currently the left kind of controls our entire government, right? They, they, they own the presidency and one half the chambers of the legislature. But the argument is, What's the I do. You don't. When I say I do, that means I do. You got on the table? Yeah. The contents of television would change much this process. You know, you may have seen a New Yorker joke, a couple are watching TV, and one says, when you think of the vast educational potential of TV, aren't you glad it doesn't? Uh, this is based on the assumption, you see, that it's the content that does the educating, not the medium. Blah, blah, in this film. Yeah. The contents of television would change much this process. You know, you may have seen a New Yorker joke, a couple are watching TV, and one says, when you think of the vast educational potential of TV, aren't you glad it doesn't? Uh, this is... Aren't you glad uh, this was done through the free market? And the person holding the gun is Google. Right, they, they, they're... Left gets this control, they're gonna use it against conservative companies. And I just think that's like a fundamentally deranged way to think about public policy um, is if, if the left gets control of the government, they might do the thing that they're currently doing or they might do the thing that these companies are already doing. Right. I, 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 I'm worried about what's happening right now. And what's happening right now, I think, is there was lightning in my house. Kids reach. They don't want jobs. The next phase is the dropout executive. Art is anything you can get away with is a threat to American democracy. We have got to stop the craziness. And I think one way to do it is to stop the way that these companies control the flow of information in our country. So uh, with that, I'll shut up. If you guys have any questions, uh, happy to take them, but appreciate you all for having me. How do you think that, uh, that Trump thinks about antitrust or Republicans, if there's a new administration, how they would pick up these cases or not? Or what, what's the sort of general view of the next administration, uh, assuming it's Republican aside. Yeah. So it's, it, it's a good question, Matt. It's always hard to 
sort of speak for Donald Trump, especially on a topic where I've actually never spoken to him about it. Um, so I, I won't pretend that that what I'm I'm doing is anything other than a guess, right? So with that massive caveat, I mean, look, I I, I think that if you look at what Trump has said and if you look at some of the steps that Trump has taken. Uh, he clearly does not buy into the old orthodoxy that we can't do anything about these companies because that would be a violation of some ephemeral free market principle. OK, um, but I also think that, as, as you know, right, personnel is policy. And a lot of what will determine Trump administration antitrust policy is who ultimately takes the reins of the senior roles in the Trump administration, because they're going to be the ones who are executing on this stuff. So when, when I think about this, I, I think Trump's instincts on this stuff are quite good. And I think he fundamentally just re- rejects some of the old orthodoxy. He doesn't give a crap about it. He just doesn't doesn't care about it. And that's a very good thing. Uh, I also think Trump personally is appreciative of the way in which Facebook, Meta, Google and so forth have been very bad for his own political project. So that's the, I think there there's a recognition there of a problem. And when I think about how to solve, how to put those instincts into policy, a lot of it's going to be getting the right people uh, in some of these roles and making sure we don't, you know, sort of get rid of some of the good people from the previous administration who were doing the right thing. So uh, I think that's the question. How do we get po- personnel right so that we can get policy right in the next Trump administration? Job. Now, the human tribe is the corporation we once again work for. The furniture may be a MacBook. The office might be a software application. As Marshall McLuhan has said, the electric media in general flips into the artist as navigator, Art serving us as fins do a fish. Smart contracts can enable granular weight in the metaverse through videocity to maintain remunerative commerce ratios.